So we're on to page six. So you are going to cut two pieces of black cardstock, eight inches tall by eight and five eighths inches wide. And you are going to put them in the scoreboard with the eight and five eighths on top. And you are going to be scoring at a half an inch, half an inch, five eighths of an inch, oops, half an inch, five eighths of an inch, and four and five eighths, four and five eighths. So do that with both, both pieces, half an inch. So we're just making a little gusset here, five eighths of an inch, and four and five eighths, four and there's half and there's five eighths. Then you're going to cut a, a piece, eight and seven eighths inches long by four inches wide, and this is going to form our bottom pocket. And you'll put it in the scoreboard, the four inch side on top, and they'll score half an inch. Turn it around, half an inch, and half an inch. So go ahead and fold and burnish all those pieces. So once you have everything um, scored and burnished real well, make sure you get a sharp, that one eighth of an inch gusset there. You are going to apply these pieces to the ends of your page six. Here's the spine. So this is page six. You're going to bring this up like this. and pull your tape on this side and you're going to be doing the same thing with this other piece. Lining it up up here, make sure you pull down that, that gusset before you adhere, adhere it like that. So you're gonna pull this one down and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. So these <clears throat> two flaps are in. This is going to be your gatefold. And hopefully they lined they lined up even. So what we're going to open up into the inside. And we're going to go to the center back panel. Now in the center back panel, you are going to get, you should have some strips. Just go through everything you've cut and you just need to find some strips that are um, seven and seven eighths inches long, and they could be like a quarter inch wide. This one's half an this one's half an inch. This one's a quarter inch. You only need a quarter inch. You're going to put this down to outline this inside page. So you are you are going to outline this inside page with these red strips. And that's just because we want separation from this and our panels here. So you're going to put those down, get them measured, eight and seven eighths, ink the edges, and you're just gonna put those down. Like I said, it doesn't matter. As long as they're a quarter inch, it doesn't matter. You're gonna be covering this up with designer paper anyway. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's this center page. And you can just, you can see there is just a little bit of red there on, the, on this part right there, right here. That's just a little bit of red on that center page. Like that. So just get those strips in before we put it, put in this back paper and the pocket. So once you have those red pieces in all the way from the top to the bottom on each side, 
Then you're going to go ahead and get your pocket, put score tape all the way around, miter the corners here and up here, like we always do, and adhere the pocket to the bottom of the page. So you're gonna adhere this to the bottom of the page, center it in the midline, center it I guess I can put my down, because I, I do want to use this maybe again. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull the tape. So I'm going to center it and put this down here, and then I'll be right back. So once you have your pocket in, so you got your red stripes in, you got your pocket in, what we're going to do next is pull this paper. This is from the 12 by 12. So this is the back side. So you're going to pull this paper, and first thing you're going to do, you are going to measure in from the left side two and seven-eighths inches in, and you are going to cut this two and seven-eighths, two and seven-eighths is in all the way down, like that. So you're going to be left with a piece that starts around where this house and this tree are. So you've made that cut. Now you're going to measure up from the bottom. Oh, what did I measure? I measured five and a quarter. A little bit more than five and a quarter. Five and one eight, two eighths, five and three eighths. You are going to measure up from this cut piece. You're going to measure five and three eighths up from the bottom here, five and three eighths up. And you're going to cut this paper. So five and three eighths up, you are going to cut the paper. It's gonna be around, around here. Let's see where it should. Five and three eighths, yeah. So it should be around here. It's going to be something like this. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> so once you have cut this paper up here, and you've already trimmed off the side here, then you are going to put place this piece over your pocket and you are going to trim the bottom. You're going to trim the bottom off and this is some this is what you should be getting. You should be getting this piece. So you want it to trim it off at the bottom. And this is some this is what you should be getting. So it fits over that pocket like that. Why did we do all those cuts? Because I wanted to have this scene centered with this pocket. So we should be having that snowflake right there in this valley in the center of the pocket. So this is how yours should look. So just kind of, if you get your cuts, two and seven eighths inches in all the way down that sheet and five and three eighths up. Then you just put this over here and then trim it at the bottom. So you're going to be getting rid of down, you're gonna get, be getting rid of most of this down here. But you do that trimming. You're gonna be left with this piece up here which should now be centered. So you, there's a snowflake here that is centered with this snowflake. So when you made your cut, you would just be adhering this paper in here. I trimmed this paper off, I think, um, what did I do? The top of here, a half an inch. I got rid of some of this blue. You don't have to, but I did. So you can see where I trimmed off a half an inch of that blue. And then you 
put this over here and then you cut it over here so it fits. And you want it to be cut so it's in line with your pocket. So it should look something like that. This piece is going to be longer than where the pocket is. So what I did is I fed this piece over the lips of my pocket and then I secured my pocket down and then uh, uh, secured this in there. Does that make sense? Pretty straightforward. It's just getting this paper cut and placed and then it slide this into your pocket and it should look like this. So here it is one more time. Looks like that. You got your center snowflake right there with the center snowflake down in the valley. And that's how your scene should be looking. So now we're going to open up your flaps. On both sides so this is down now we have these flaps this right hand flap that we opened up you are going to be pulling this scene from the 8 by 8 now remember we have two 8 by 8 packs because you're going to be using this side for over here and you're going to be using this side for over here so we're going to start with this side this one you just measure um, seven and seven eighths inches up and then just kind of trim it up on the top then you're going to find where your your fold line is give it a little distance oops here goes my computer mark it where you need to cut it make sure you have a little distance cut it and then you're going to apply the other sheet of paper to this side. So you can see mine. I cut this at three and seven eighths. So my first cut was at three and seven eighths here. And then I applied the rest of the paper over on this side. So you have this scene. So that's pretty straightforward on this side. So there's that, that one. On this flap, what I did is I did cut this like a, an eighth of an inch off on this side. So Santa is just a tad closer to this side. So he's like this. This should also be three and seven eighths inches. So I just cut off an eighth of an inch on here and then cut this piece and then added the reindeer. So this is what this side looks like. So these are pretty easy because you're just using your eight by eight sheets to cover these. So you have this in, you have your two Santas in, and now we're going to go to these inside flaps so far no magnets so these inside flaps you're going to close this and we're going to do these flaps on the inside so covering these inside flaps they are built exactly the same you're going to go to this paper this is from the 12 by 12 core and you're going to cut these these stripes with the holly on them and you're going to adhere them, cut them eight and seven eighths inches tall, and you're going to adhere them down on both sides. Just like that.
Then you're going to get this red striped paper and you are going to cut a piece that fits the rest of the flap. So eight and seven eighths inches tall and this is like three and a little over three and a quarter inches wide. So you're gonna get those and put those down. I cut out these these half circles. These are, what's the diameter on this? This is like one and a half inch diameter. And I just put these, I use a circle punch or you can use a die. And this is the green plaid again from your patterns um, pack. I put that in the midline. It's like, there's four inches, so it's kind of, like on the midline on each of these so people know to open these flaps up to go inside. Make sure you ink everything. I think I forgot to ink these pieces. I can tell too. They just don't look right. I forgot to ink in here. Oh my gosh. But these are inked. So get the inside flaps done not too difficult you've got now we're going to go to the outside so the outside of your gatefold you are going to get this paper again let me pull this paper so you are going to go to the eight by eight you've used one of your eight by eights of this paper for another page but you're going to go to the other eight by eight and you're going to be using this to cover this. So basically just measure it and cut it eight and seven eighths and then measure it to fit these your flaps. Do not cover up this one because we have a magnet in here somewhere. Oops, there, we have a magnet there. So you can go ahead and cut this, cut these both. This one you can go ahead and adhere down on the left side. This one, have it cut and ready to go, but wait till we transfer the magnet. Now we're going to be getting this card, which is from here. This is from the A4. You're gonna cut this card and you are going to mat it on black cardstock. So you're gonna cut the entire card and mat it on black cardstock. So once you have this card matted on um, the black card stock, where you're going to be placing it is centered top to bottom and it's like two inches in. So this should give you like one and a quarter, I believe, inches up. Yeah, one and a quarter inches up from the top and the bottom and about two inches in from the side. That's where you're going to be placing it. So what I did is I, I placed it here. I have score tape. So I placed my score tape on here. I left a little room where I did not adhere it down all the way because I'm going to be using this paper from the 8x8 collection, this burlap type paper, to cover up the inside of this card. But before you use put this paper, you need to add a pull ribbon if you want. And where's my, and your magnet. So once you have this adhered down, leave a little room so you can slip this, this paper underneath it. But once this is adhered down and you know where it's going to be, Add your pull ribbon, it's usually just above center, and then add a magnet. And you can see where I put my magnet, right there, just below the ribbon. You don't wanna to add too much bulk over here by the ribbon. And then you're going to transfer this over to this flap over here. 
so it transfers over to here. Once it's transferred over, then you can put this, this paper down. So you have your card in, um, you've got your magnets transferred over, and then this piece here I got, let me pull this where I got this from. So from the 12 by 12 patterns pack, you're gonna go to this paper, it has the number 25, and that's where I cut this from. So I should have probably cut a little bit more of the red. So I cut, I cut it around where you have the red stripes. Should have had a little bit more red going around because it's hard to see, but that's what I did. And then I matted it on black cardstock and cut the black cardstock. So this is this is how it looks. So that's how I cut it. And then I put it in this corner. I wanted it to clear this flap, so I didn't want it touching this flap. So that's why it's tucked away in this corner. So that is it for this gatefold page. The other thing I did do is I went to the, um, the, the paper and pulled this, this card out. This card was pulled from here. So, so far I've used this card and this card, um, and it's on the back of this paper. So this card was pulled from here and then I did not mat it on black cardstock because I wanted to decrease the bulk. I just went ahead and used that green plaid from the patterns paper and added like a half an inch strip of the red paper here. And then that is going to go in here to complete our scene. So we have fl Santa flying over our little village here. And this green plaid picks up on the green plaid here. So that is it for here for this page. 